good, Cam. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. That three back spot, man, they, they say they put a lot on your guys' plate. Oh, yeah. Year three now of it, yeah. does it feel that much more natural, normal, comfortable? Well, naturally in this offense, the three backs are asked to do a lot. So, you know, but being in year three, it does seem like a easier adjustment going into the spring because I've been in the program for three years now, so I know what they're asking of us. But we do so learn something new about the system every day. That's the benefit of playing in this program because it does prepare you for the next level. But there definitely is a lot asked of the three backs, and I wouldn't want it any other way. How's this Brian Courtney? Oh, he's been making plays all over the field, left and right. I'm, I'm talking about incredible catches. I'm really impressed with what he's doing, for sure. What's uh, We know what your role is. You're obviously experienced in this offense. Uh, losing Jordan Wilson, you guys use two tight ends so often. I guess, how's the competition been to kind of replace Jordan? Oh, the competition is naturally every day because the standard is excellence, but the competition that's been introduced to the tight end room has been incredible because we've been having younger guys having to step up and play bigger roles into the offense because like you said jordan wilson played upwards 300 snaps last year so we have to replace a lot of production at tight end so we're looking at the tight ends in the room to be able to step up and play that role in the offense so i'm excited about the spring transition into the summer and then going into fall camp to see who can step up and be that guy Kim, can you tell uh, the difference in like the first couple days of last spring? It seemed like the pass catchers last spring didn't do a great job of one-on-one, seven-on-seven. It seemed like the DBs kind of dominated it. It seems like it's flipped a little bit this year. Can you tell that already? Oh, yeah, for sure. And I, I know pads aren't on and everything, but still. Granted, yeah, there are no pads on, but a lot of that credit has to be to Jordan Travis. The way that he worked this offseason and he went above and beyond in his preparation to develop a rapport with his pass catchers is showing up on the field left and right. So I'm really just proud of him and the way that he stepped up as a leader in the program and I feel like that's why we are where we at, where we're at right now as pass catchers because of Jordan. But the new bodies probably help a little bit. Oh yeah, for sure. Johnny Wilson has been making crazy plays on the outside. He's been encouraging out the outside receivers to step their game up to a new level. I've been really impressed with what he's been able to do. It's not just him though. All of the newcomers at wide receivers that have been given opportunities have been making plays, and the guys that have been here have been making more and more plays as well. So, really, it's really impressive what we're seeing from that group of guys. You move well for some of the six three, six four. For Johnny to do that at six foot seven, I guess how, how rare and unique is his skill set? I mean, you just. Uh Receivers are a dime a dozen, but not receivers like Johnny, though. Like you said, he's 6'7". He's essentially a tight end, but he's playing outside receiver, and he has the athletic ability to do that. So being a big guy myself, I, I respect, uh, you know, elite ability to move from guys who are really big and long. So I respect what he's doing, and I try to watch his game and try to implement it into my game, too, just because he is so long. I like the way that he uses his hands. He's an imposing force on the outside. I'm excited to watch it. Talk a little bit about what Jordan's done off the field, but what are maybe one or two things on the field you think he's kind of improved his game on this, this offseason? I mean, I feel like he really took a holistic approach as a quarterback just to get better as a player. I can't really pinpoint one or two things because he's really doing everything well right now. Now, granted, this is day two of spring, and he's going into his, I believe, his third or fourth year in the program. So he he's really just gotten better as an overall player. He keeps getting better year after year, phase after phase. So I'm really excited about what we're seeing from him. I can't pinpoint one or two things. I can just say that he's gotten better as a whole. You mentioned improved leadership for Jordan. I guess what does that look like you know, during during the winter conditioning program this time of year? During the winter conditioning program, he's just been the quarterback that's been going above and beyond. Now, granted, all the guys go above and beyond in the throwing sessions, but when you get it from your QB1, it hits a little bit different. When he's encouraging guys to come out, let's go. We got to throw. We got to get better. We have to develop that report on the field. And then when you see it translate to during practice, it really just, you know, it's like, kind of like a full circle moment. Like, that's why I'm really proud of him because, you know, I feel like he incorporated it and inherited that from McKenzie, the way that McKenzie was able to come in and work and push the program. Jordan inherited it, and his leadership has gone to another another level this year, for sure. You feel like your chemistry with Jordan has gotten better, too, just only because, you know, you guys are out in the community, you're doing things off the field, volunteering, boys and girls, blah, blah. How much is that factor? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Our relationship has never been closer. You know, I kind of wanted to focus on that this offseason, too, because when a tight end has a great relationship with his quarterback, it's really a hard dynamic to stop. You can really play a two-man game. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, though, when you, when you develop a relationship with your quarterback, it's a two-man game. So I feel like our relationship has never been stronger, and I, I think I know it's going to translate to on the field. You guys, good. Else? Thank you, guys. Thanks, Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Oh, I got Cam a camera. camera. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even get to.